Um, dogma in, in, in our country is a word that we use for um, uh, rigorously adhering to uh, following a particular way of doing something, whether it's right or it's not right. Just doing it, doing it, doing it. Whether it's right or wrong, doesn't matter. They call that dogma. Doing that dogma. Anyway, I'm not dogmatic in that sense. I, I, I'm open to, and I think most people should be open to, all the different things that might be helpful or relevant to their condition of, of, of need. So I have experimented with all kinds of different um, philosophies and practices and disciplines at different times in my life. And I do, I think there's an incredible uh, deep wisdom in the way that the uh, Chinese, Chinese philosophy and in uh, Chinese medicine and other uh, sciences. How are we doing on time? Should we continue or should we stop? I don't know. I mean, I'm fine keep talking. I don't want to bore you guys. If you're tired and you want to go, and go. If you want to stay, you can stay. If you've got any questions, we can answer them. They might need a different language. 
we might need it to be in, in Chinese. And forgive me if with my bad language and my problem, huh? I mean to be insulting. So they may need it different. They may need different examples. They may need a story because they learn best by listening to stories. And they may have. It could be any one of a hundred different ways that would be best for them to learn whatever this is. The best thing, the best way to know what they need, there's no teacher out here that can say, oh, I know what you need, and then give it to you. The, the best way to know what they need is for the person themselves to say, this is working, this isn't working. Right? As this person starts to say what they need, that's what should make the choices about what it will help them get to understand. So it's their movement of need which is causing the, all of the potential to unfold itself to them. You still have a problem with the word unfold. Um, Yeah, I use it in a way like a uh, uh, physicist does. So that may not be helpful. Organize. Let's use the word organize. For, for all of the potential things that might be helpful, to instead, instead of somebody organizing them all in advance, right? A lot of times, a person's coming in to understand something, the teacher says, well, now you do this, then you do this, then you do this, then you do this, then you do this. Right? It doesn't really matter whether the person is what the person needs. It doesn't matter what the person's experience is. The teachers are saying, or the textbook is saying, you do this, then you do this, then you do this, then you do this, then you do this. Here, what we're saying is that the person comes in and says, okay, here's what I need. This is what I need. And out of a, a variety of different things that might be helpful, an organization starts to form around the, the person who's learning saying what they need. Right? So this is a different approach to teaching and educating than just putting forced you know, railroad track in front of them. So I say this is what has to happen for everybody at all times when they're learning. Because when they do that, the fact that they're paying attention, asking the question of themselves, what do I need? They're, they've got a feedback loop going on inside of themselves. That makes their learning more powerful than just being on the train track. Did that help? Did that help? Yes. Okay. 